welcome students now we are creating a practical 5b video it is creating the web application to demonstrate the use of master page with applying styles as well as understand the themes and uh, schemes for the page beautification so before i create this particular video i want few concept need to be clear so i am creating the video series in terms of five videos first video we will understand this current video we will understand themes and schemes a second video we will understand how to work with master pages third video we will understand how to work with nested master pages the fourth video we will understand how to access the control values of master pages inside the content pages and then the this last video the practical number 5b will be completed by us so let's start this first video where we will be understanding the themes and schemes so for doing it i'm starting my visual studio 2022 and creating a small web application which help us to understand about the themes and schemes what are the theme a theme is been used for the sake of beautification themes include the schemes and css so i give a name to this particular project that themes and schemes and let us try to understand about how to build the themes inside the web project is quite a easier thing themes are basically used for beautification of the html controls and schemes are used for a beautification of your web controls so here it comes i need to first of all create a small web page so here i'm planning to add my web page but for themes you should know what exactly a css is cascading style sheet so here i'm adding one web form and i'm just adding few contents into it let's try to understand what contents i'm interested i'm just interested in providing h1 and saying welcome to my or welcome to abai more okay तो मेरा भी नाम डाल दिया तो वेलकम टू अबे मोरे करके कंटेंट्स आ गया नाउ व्हाट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन अप्लाइंग द थीम सो हाउ टू क्रिएट द थीम्स इज क्वाइट इजी राइट क्लिक ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन कॉल्ड एज ऐड इन द ऐड सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन एज ऐड एएसपी डॉट नेट फोल्डर एंड हियर यू सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन एज थीम सो करेंटली यू विल फाइंड अ न्यू एएसपी डॉट नेट फोल्डर गेट एडेड नेम्ड एज ऐप अंडरस्कोर थीम्स under which we a theme is been created named as a theme one so this theme should consist of a css so now i am trying to add a css page inside my theme so how we can add the css page inside a theme is simply you can select over your style sheet now currently i am given the name of the style sheet page as css one and few contents i am trying to apply for the body i am just implementing the background color so a background color has been applied by me i am planning to provide a background color as aqua uh, as well as for the h1 i am interested in specifying some background color now if you are good in css you can understand how to apply the css but helping you to understand css is not in the scope of this particular video so fine a style sheet one css has been implemented inside the theme called as what your theme one i can add multiple themes also suppose again i'm adding a new theme over here <coughs> so here i'm interested in going for adding the asp.net folder and in which again i'm selecting over here theme so we'll find now my app underscore themes consist of theme 1 as well as the theme 2 and inside the theme 2 again i'm adding one more style sheet so style sheet got added inside the theme 1 as well as the theme 2 what i am doing i am just copy paste in the contents of this first style sheet inside the second style sheet and interested in changing the color to color thoda sa main jab badal deta hu to yahan pe maine dal diya red karke and yahan pe maine dal diya background color as yellow karke okay learn css it is really needed at least learn the bootstrap etc so fine style sheet 1 and style sheet 1 again two css folder files are there but one is inside a theme one and second is inside what here theme two now these style sheet are helping us to beautification of this items of h1 as well as the body <coughs> but what happens if suppose i am adding a text box 
So for Textbox, Textbox is not your regular HTML. It is the ASP.NET control. Now for implementing the beautification for the web controls, a standard beautification for the web controls, what we are using, we are using the concept called as schemes. But now let us try to work with the theme first. So I had just kept the text box. We will add the schemes afterwards. So I run this particular page and you can see no effects are being shown. Only H1 is going to be shown as welcome to Abaymore as well as a text box is being shown. No background color, no foreground color. Nothing has been displayed on this particular web page because we had created the theme, but we have not applied the theme for the web form. So how to apply the theme for the web form is simple. Uh, in your page directive, that is the direct page, you can add up any attribute somewhere here or at the end as theme and then provide the name of the theme. It can be theme one or it can be theme two. Suppose I'm specifying over here theme one. And now if I plan to run this particular web form, you can easily see the effect of the theme one background color. The effect of the theme one H1 background color is being applied and you can see the colorful effect over here. Now, simply if you would like to implement the theme two, what you can do, you can over here specify as theme two. So now if you specify the theme two, then the effect of the theme two will be applied and the contains are being displayed in front of the user. So it's quite nice. You can create your CSS, but instead of creating the CSS, uh, individually better that add it inside a theme. So tomorrow you would like to go to the older structure or the new structure. You can just change the theme and the theme will be applied. Those CSS are being applied. But if I am creating a new web form over here and adding few contents into it, suppose I'm adding a new web form over here. So I'm selecting over here new item uh, or I can select over here web form. So a new web form has been added by me and uh, I just mentioned over here a small contain in H1 by saying learn project development with us. And now if I run this particular page, you know that the theme was been applied only to the web form one. So the effect of the theme will be shown only to the web form one. It will not be applied to the web form two. But what you want that a theme should be universal for all the pages. Then what you need to do it, you need to go to the web.config file and here you need to set up the themes. So if you set up the themes in a web.config file, then automatically whatever the page in which the theme is not mentioned, then the theme is been taken from the web.config file. So let us try to understand how we can implement this web.config files theme. So here I'm just providing after the system dot web attack called as themes. So I can just provide just wait a minute class. Recall again. Okay. So I would like to implement the themes. Sorry for the disturbance. Now here it comes. I'm just adding the tag called as the pages inside the system dot web. And here you can provide the theme equal to the name of the theme. The name of the theme, you know that what is the theme name? We are having a standard name as theme one or the theme two. Suppose here I mentioned as theme two. Fine. So the pages tag to be added under the system dot web and specify the theme over here. So now on a web form two, no theme is been mentioned. But if I'm running this web form two, as no theme is been mentioned, it will take a theme from the web dot config. And the theme two effect will be done. But for the web form one, you can easily see as we had mentioned the theme one. Okay, we had mentioned theme two only. So I will just do one thing. theme one And if I'm trying to go for refreshing this page, you can see the theme one effect is there on web form one because we had mentioned the theme over here. But in a web form two, you had not mentioned any theme. That's the reason it's taking the theme or web.config which has been mentioned by us over here under the system dot web in a tag named as pages theme equal to the name of the theme. So this is the concept of theme. Now, as I told you earlier, the themes are not capable of beautifying the web form controls. These are all web form controls. 
So if you want to beautify the web form control, then do one thing. You can add up a schemes under the theme. So theme ke andar hum log CSS add karta hai, jo beautify karta hai HTML controls ko. Aur theme ke andar hum log schemes add karta hai, jo beautify karta hai web controls ko. So how to add up a scheme is simple. You can just give a click on add and instead of the style sheet, now you will add up a file called as web form scheme file. So here a scheme one has been added under the theme one. Similarly, under the theme two also, I am interested in adding one scheme file. And now let's try to configure the text box in a scheme one of a theme one and a scheme one of uh, the theme too. How to do it? Now over here you will get a simple uh, information how to go for creating the schemes and one sample also. So I am now taking the sample. What simply I do it? I will just add up a text box over here because I need to beautify the text box. So I just add up a text box over here. If it is not getting added, don't worry here. You can just type it ASP colon. Then you can add the text box. Agar wo bhi nahi aara hai, to ek simple kaam karna. आप वेब फॉर्म वन में चले जाना यहां पे जो टेक्स बॉक्स है इसको कॉपी कर देना और आपके स्किन फाइल में आके आप पेस्ट कर दो फाइन सो एड इट वॉट इन साइड अ स्किन फाइल नाउ हियर प्लीज रिमूव द आईडी एंड प्रोवाइड ऑल द ब्यूटिफिकेशन आइटम इट मींस व्हाट आई वांट द टेक्स्ट अलाइन तो एक सादा सिंपल सा हम लोग काम करते हैं नॉर्मली हम लोग जो कंट्रोल को ब्यूटिफाई करना है वो कंट्रोल को यहीं पे ही ब्यूटीफाई कर लेते हैं एक कंट्रोल ऐड करते हैं और वो एक कंट्रोल को हम लोग क्या करते हैं पूरा ब्यूटीफाई कर लेते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल ये जो टेक्स्ट बॉक्स है आई विल सेट अप द प्रॉपर्टीज विच एवर आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम यूजिंग द कलर और फोरग्राउंड कलर आई मेंशन द फोरग्राउंड कलर ओवर हियर एज मे बी अ ग्रीन और अ येलो आई एम सेटिंग द बैकग्राउंड कलर ओवर हियर एज बैक कलर अभी लाइट लिया हुआ है तो बैकग्राउंड कलर थोड़ा सा डार्क लेना पड़ेगा Further, I want the border style should be set. So I'm setting up the border style as dotted, dashed, dash dotted, and so on. So the border width here, the border width two p XL ka de diya. Ya fir I had mentioned over here the border uh, maybe of seven pixels. So you can see the text box. I don't want such kind of worst looking text box should be added. So now what I do it, I I just go to the source and then copy this entire text box. And adding this text box inside my scheme, and I am just removing the attribute named as ID from here. So I just remove the ID field over here. Now come towards the same text box, and the same text box I am trying to add towards my scheme one also. So दोनों theme में मैंने वही type का beautification करके रखा हुआ है, right? So now uh, concepts have been clear. So we add up these kind of controls. We beautify the controls and paste it inside a scheme. Please re remember that we have to remove the ID part. Now I am just removing this text box from the web form one and planning to add a new text box over here. So when I am adding a new text box over here, you can see I had not added any background color, anything, anything, anything. But there is the theme which has been selected called as theme one. So when I run this particular page, from the theme, a scheme file has been taken, and all the beautification of the text boxes are automatically taken from the scheme, and they are been applied to the page because this page is consists of what here theme. So what is the theme? A theme consists of CSS, which beautify the HTML controls, and a theme consists of scheme file, which beautify the web controls. So this is the simple explanation of the themes and scheme, and it is better to use the themes and schemes so that you can create a better look and feel for your application. Class, please remember if you would like to learn about the project development, etc., and would like to learn the new technologies, uh, do visit us. Thanks a lot.